Hello students, today I am going to teach about mechanism of breathing in the chapter breathing and exchange of gases. So first of all, what is breathing? So breathing means the exchange of gases takes place in the lungs. That process is called breathing. The exchange of gases, gases means oxygen and carbon dioxide. This exchange process is takes place in the lungs. So that is called normally breathing. So what will happen in the breathing mainly? Uh, air air enters into the inside into lungs into the lungs next at the same time it released into the outside so this process or takes place the movement of air the movement of air or air can move inside and outside so this process is takes place so here mainly air can move always air can move high pressure to low pressure it can move high pressure to low pressure so the main air movement can move this pressure it, the movement of air can depends on the pressure gradient it always move high pressure to low pressure so in the breathing mechanism the mechanism of breathing two steps are present two stages are two steps are present the inspiration inspiration and expiration inspiration and expiration or inspiration is also called inhalation inhalation and exhalation this is also called exhalation so these steps these two steps are takes place in the breathing process so first of all we will learn about inspiration process so what will happen in the inspiration so mainly during breathing mechanism two muscles two types of muscles play important role they are the muscles of diaphragm or diaphragm muscles or you can write muscles of diaphragm muscles of diaphragm next one second one external external intercoastal muscles intercoastal muscles so these two types of the muscles play important very very important role so here first of all the muscles of diaphragm is also called phrenic muscles also called phrenic muscle so these muscles these two types of the muscles play important role in the breathing mechanism so let us we will discuss about process of inspiration so what will happen in the inspiration so first of all the muscles first muscles of diaphragm get contrast that diaphragmic muscles first of all the muscles of diaphragm get contract first first step so what will happen in this process for example how is the diaphragm it is a dome shape so dome shape the diaphragm is present dome shape next for example just imagine this is the thoracic cavity so here this is the diaphragm so how is the diaphragm is present it is a dome shape so what will happen in the first step first first of all here this inspiration is a inspiration this uh, inspiration is a active process active process so which means a atp is utilized here ATP is play important role so ATP is utilizes so that's why this process is called active process so what will happen in the inspiration first the muscles of diaphragm or diaphragmic muscles or phrenic muscles get contract so what will happen here so here this diaphragm become flat so what will happen first step get contrast as a result diaphragm become flat so what will happen here this is the thoracic chamber so here this thoracic chamber this volume of thoracic chamber is increased this volume so here diaphragm get contrast as a result it become flat this space is increased here so this space is increased so this is thoracic volume so in this here thoracic volume increased where it is increased anterior and posterior axis so in this way here in this way here the thoracic volume is increased thoracic volume so anterior and 
posterior way so anterior and posterior anterior anterior or posterior axis so in this axis the thoracic volume is increased next what will happen next step next these external intercostal muscles get contrast next step external intercostal muscles get contrast so as a result here the ribs are present in the lateral side so here down diaphragm is present the lateral side the ribs are present so these ribs slightly the in the ribs the external intercostal muscles are present in the between the ribs so here these ribs get contrast so as a result these muscles these ribs get lift up slightly it gets lift up so as a result so ribs get like this they lift up as a result the size so in this way that size of uh, this thoracic volume not this way so here in dorso ventrally dorso ventrally the thoracic volume is increased so next next step is external intercostal muscles get contract so as a result what will happen the ribs ribs slightly lift up lift up so as a result this thoracic volume thoracic volume increased in incre increase which way dorso ventrally dorso so ventral so finally the thoracic volume here the thoracic volume is increased thoracic volume volume is increased so as a result what will happen here in this thoracic thoracic cavity the lungs are present here so whenever the thoracic volume that the thoracic chamber or thoracic volume is increased so in the in the thoracic chamber lungs are present so in the lungs the pressure the pressure is decreased that that is called pulmonary pressure pulmonary pressure is decreased pulmonary pressure is decreased thoracic volume is increased pulmonary pressure decreased so what will happen air always can move high pressure to low pressure so in the pulmonary in the pul in the lungs what will happen in the lungs pulmonary pressure is decreased so air in the outside in the outside pressure is high so uh, as a result air can move inside air always move high pressure to low pressure so in the what will happen now in the lungs the pressure is decreased so that is called Uh, the sorry the pressure is decreased so that is also called negative pulmonary pressure so now negative pulmonary pre pressure is established or pr pulmonary pressure is decreased as a result the air pass into the inside so this process is called inspiration or inhalation once again i will re i will repeat so what will happen in the inspiration mainly two types of the muscles play important role they are muscles of diaphragm are also called phrenic muscles one more external intercostal muscles so what will happen here first of all muscles of diaphragm get contracts so normally in resting position diaphragm is present like dome shape okay it is arranged like dome shape when the muscles get contracts it become flat so what will happen the thoracic volume size is increased in which way anterior or posteriorly anterior to posterior in this way next after that the external intercostal muscles get contrast contract so as a result the ribs slightly ribs can move and lift up so as a result the thoracic volume thoracic chamber can increased in this way which way dorsal and ventral dorsal and ventral side so dorsal and ventral side so as a result uh, these two together collectively thoracic volume is increased so as a result in this thoracic volume when the thoracic volume is increased in the lungs the pulmonary pressure pressure in the lungs that is called pulmonary pressure that pulmonary pressure is decreased so as a result air can move 
inside thus process is called inspiration okay now next expiration so expiration is it is passive process it is passive process here energy is not utilized that's why this is passive pride passive process here this is active process here atp during muscle contraction atp is essential so here two types of muscles get contracts so that's why it is uh, active process expiration is passive process so what will happen in the first first this uh, this muscles diaphragmic muscles get relaxed so diaphragmic muscles get relaxed so as a result diaphragm get back to their original position so as a result thoracic volume is decreased now thoracic volume is decreased next in the end external uh, external intercostal muscles get contrast as a result complete the thoracic volume thoracic volume is decreased so as a result thoracic pressure or pulmonary pressure pressure is increased pulmonary pressure is increased so as a result air can move move outside can move air can move outside so that process is called expiration so expiration is a simple process process just relaxation of muscles okay first of all our diaphragm muscle get relaxed then external intercostal muscles get relaxed as a result the thoracic volume is decreased as a result pressure is increased in the lungs so as a result uh, air can move outside so that process is called expiration so this is about inspiration and expiration so in normally in human being a normal healthy human being can respire or can shows the um, breathing movements 12 to 16 times per minute so these inspiration breathing movements normally a, a healthy human being healthy human being can show the 12 to 16 um, breathing movements per minute next these breathing movements can measured by are estimated by spirometer spirometer these may breathing movements can estimated by spirometer okay so this is about breath mechanism of breathing